वेलकम सो ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल सी इल इफेक्ट ऑफ हार्ड वाटर इन इल इफेक्ट ऑफ हार्ड वाटर आवर थर्ड पॉइंट इज स्लर्ज एंड स्किल फॉर्मेशन इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी विल सी स्लर्ज एंड स्किल फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इल इफेक्ट ऑफ बॉयलर फिड वाटर आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड what is mean by the sludge what is mean by the scale what are the causes of the sludge and scale what is the preventive methods for the scale and sludge and what is the disadvantages between scale and sludge okay so let's begin with our topic sludge and scale formation now first of all we will see our first point that is sludge what is exactly mean by the sludge and what are the causes of the sludge see the dissolved salt in boiler water produces the steam okay and due to steam formation there is a formation of loose slimy precipitate of impurity and the loose slimy precipitate of impurity is known as what sludge right i will again repeat the definition of sludge sludge form the dissolved salt in boiler water due to steam generation okay there is a formation of loose slimy precipitate of impurity and then it is known as what sludge formation now what are the causes of the sludge formation sludge formation it can be caused due to if your hard water sample containing the compounds like what which is having greater solubility in hot solution comparatively to what cold solution for example the calcium magnesium carbonate mgco3 magnesium chloride mgcl2 right magnesium sulfate mgso4 cacio3 calcium carbonate so these are the responsible factors for what you are sludge formation right the dissolved salt in boiler water due to steam formation it can be converted into loose slimy precipitate of impurity or deposit at inner side of the boiler then it is known as what sludge what is the causes of the sludge sludge formation can be caused due to if your hard water samples containing a compounds like which is having greater solubility in hot solution comparatively to what cold solution right for example magnesium carbonate magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate and calcium carbonate these are the responsible for what your sludge formation now this figure shows that indicates that there is a boiler section 2 showing sludge formation see at the inner surface of this boiler loose slimy precipitate of impurity right and this is called as what your sludge okay then boiler water with suspended impurity see at inner side of the boiler there is a boiler water with suspended impurity is also present see this is the boiler metal and heat okay so what happened during the heating due to the presence of what dissolved salt in boiler water and steam formation it can be converted into a loose slimy precipitate of impurity at inner side of the boiler and this is called as what you were sludge okay so this is sludge and their causes now the next exactly opposite scale scale means what the dissolved salt in boiler water due to steam generation it can be converted into hard tough thick layer or adherent coating at the inner surface of the boiler then it is called as what you are scale right what is mean by the scale scale means what the dissolved salt due to steam generation okay resulting into formation of hard tough thick layer coat or adherent coating at inner surface of the boiler and which is very difficult to remove then it is known as what you were scale formation now what is the causes of the scale formation scale formation it can be caused due to presence of 
the next important point is scale what is mean by the scale what are the causes of the scale formation and how scale formation can be prevented right so scale the definition of the scale means what the dissolved salt due to steam generation then there is a formation of hard tough thick layer coat or adherent coating at inner surface of the boiler and which is very difficult to remove the boiler then it is known as what your scale now what is the causes of the scale scale forms are due to three different causes number 1 is it is due to presence of bicarbonate for example calcium bicarbonate ca h co3 twice now this calcium bicarbonate at high temperature right at high temperature calcium bicarbonate it's get converted into what your calcium carbonate cso3 and then if this calcium carbonate is formed this calcium carbonate it is hard tough thick layer coat which is also very difficult to remove from the boiler right plus h2o plus co2 carbon dioxide right then another example is presence of magnesium bicarbonate mg h co3 twice right this magnesium bicarbonate at high temperature magnesium bicarbonate at high temperature it is converted into magnesium hydroxide mg oh twice it can form a very hard tough thick layer coat which is also very difficult to remove from the water then this is also called as what scale formation you remember this one calcium bicarbonate and magnesium bicarbonate at high temperature it is decomposed and it forms calcium carbonate right and magnesium hydroxide precipitate is obtained and this precipitate which is very hard tough thick layer coat which is also very difficult to remove from the boiler water so this is the example of what presence of bicarbonate scale formation is going to take place now the second important responsible factor for the scale formation is that is presence of magnesium salt see presence of magnesium salt magnesium salt for example magnesium chloride mgcl2 right this magnesium chloride it can undergo the hydrolysis reaction twice h2o then there is a formation of magnesium hydroxide mg oh twice plus twice hcl hydrochloric acid is obtained magnesium chloride undergoes hydrolysis reaction converted into magnesium hydroxide this magnesium hydroxide it is hard tough thick layer coat okay again the another example is magnesium sulfate mg so four plus twice h2o then there is a formation of mg oh twice magnesium hydroxide precipitate plus h2so4 is obtained that is sulfuric acid okay so this is also what a thick and hard coating can be obtained another example is magnesium nitrate mg no3 twice plus twice H2O, then there is a formation of magnesium hydroxide (MgOH) twice precipitate plus twice H2O3 nitric acid is obtained. So, due to presence of magnesium salt, it can be converted into a magnesium hydroxide, a hard, tough, thick layer coat, which is also very difficult to remove from the boiler water. Right? Then it is called as what scale. Plus respect to no, acid is obtained as a by uh, by product. So the presence of magnesium salt is also one of the responsible factor for the scale formation. Then third important responsible factor is presence of silica. See silica if present silica in the form of what calcium uh, sand, right? Which is in the form of calcium silicate and magnesium silicate. And this calcium silicate and magnesium silicate, which is also very hard, tough, thick layer coat, which is also very difficult to remove from the 
boiler water. So these are the three different causes of what you are scale formation. What are the different causes for the scale formation? First one is presence of bicarbonate. Second one is presence of magnesium salt. And third one is presence of silica. These are the three different causes of what scale formation. Now, what is the remedy? How we can prevent formation of the scale? Scale can be prevented by addition of what soft and filter water. Scale formation can be prevented by addition of the EDTA solution, right? Because EDTA and if your water samples containing the metal, then it can form metal EDTA complex which is water soluble, right? That's why EDTA is also useful for removal of whatever scale formation. Even uh, lignine, tannin, these organic chemicals are also added. Sodium phosphate is also added for removal of the scale formation. What is the remedy or how to prevent the scale formation? Scale formation can be prevented by using soft and filter water, by using the addition of the EDTA solution, EDTA form metal EDTA complex which is water soluble, by addition of the organic chemicals like as lignine and tannin, by addition of the sodium uh, phosphate, sodium carbonate or phosphate conditioning, uh, by using this method also we can remove the scale formation in the boiler water. Now, the next important point is what is the disadvantages of priming and uh, sorry uh, scale and sludge formation. The disadvantage is wastage of the fuel, boiler safety, right? Then decrease the efficiency, okay? And ex uh, explosion hazardous. These are the disadvantages of the scale and sludge formation. So I will again re recap in this video session. You have learned. Scale and sludge, what is scale and sludge, what are the causes of the scale and sludge, right? What is the disadvantages, what is the preventive method of scale and sludge formation?